Welcome to The Menu Show, and another edition of The Menu Show goes retro. Today's retro game will be on the somewhat Erzatz retro console, the 360, and it's 1998's rare-released Banjo-Kazooie. This one came out, as I said, in 1998 on the N64 after two years of development. It was a tremendous success at the time. Uh, it fulfilled our dreams at the time of playing cartoons. Now everyone, everyone wants realism to feel like you're that person, but at the time you really wanted to be in the cartoon. You wanted to play Mickey Mouse. You wanted to do stuff in real time and not have canned animations. And this is one of the games that fulfilled that promise, much like uh, Mario 64 did. The menu shows a lot of the humor of the of the gamers of the game developers. Rare, giving it that cartoon feel. Banjo and Tootie. Kazooie. There comes Tootie, the name of name for a sequel. Mumbo Jumbo would later, of course, be Doctor would play Doctor Vasiliev in uh, the Princess Frog, the Frog Princess, the Bride of the Frog Princess. You know, I had a great long intro. It was very fun. It was revelatory. It was great to have this on the 360. I still haven't finished the game. I didn't finish it on the N64 before I sold mine. And haven't finished this one either. I'm still about a level or two away, but it gets amazingly hard at the end. <laughs> Sometimes there's more time than you want to put in. Younger gamers won't realize what a triumph this was graphically at the time. This is incredible. I don't know if it was the first one to do it, but this game does a great job of showing you some of the game mechanics on the menu screen. So you can kind of let it run as a bit of wallpaper. And it will show you what's coming up, what you have to do, uh, somehow how the game is played. It's fun to just let it go for a while. It keeps playing through different scenes. Let's start to play here. Sync the game. Play game. When you play the game, you have a bunch of safe spots. But again, something different. You go around the room and choose your safe spot. I think there's four. I can't recall. I only have three in here. And a cute look at his room. Leaderboards, same thing as always. Achievements, help and options. This is the one place where actually where the how to play can be useful if you stay away from it for a while. There are a lot of controls, there are a lot of combinations, a lot of things that Banjo and Kazooie can do from shooting eggs with their butt to firing eggs at the front to air dashes to air pecks to the turkey trot. There's just a ton of stuff. The game does a great job of introducing you to these mechanics as you go along so you never feel overwhelmed, but I find that when you come back after a long uh, time off, you can forget what to do. Some settings. What I really like are the uh, credits. Because they do the credits like it's a, a movie credits. Very funny. Let those run for just a minute. Again, silly fun humor, but indicative of the humor of the rare crew. Oh, but 1998, this was a graphical masterpiece. <laughs> sure, it's blocky and edgy now, but it was 25 years ago. It's a while back. I suddenly can't add. Well, that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching another version of The Menu Show, and The Menu Show goes retro.